Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we'll do a kind of a more extensive test here. I'm gonna have it take me to a, a spot downtown here from Target. We'll so we'll see how it, it does. So uh, let's get started. Yep, see, already off the bat, like car, like we're in the center of the street here. No. The problem is once again no painted lines, which it desperately needs to uh, to actually function. See, like once it has it sees a stop sign or sees a line, like okay, cool. But yeah, if there's no painted lines, which the roads here maintain pretty poorly, so can't blame it. See how it does on this left hand turn here. Yep, so this is the, uh, this is version, uh, beta version 10.3.1. Right, here's this left hand turn. Yep, kind of, kind of a clunky left hand turn there. It, for some reason it makes very wide left and right turns I've noticed. But yeah, this is version, uh, 10.3.1. Which, uh, for those not tracking, uh, so they kind of had to push this, uh, they had to push this version out immediately because, so long story short, it gets released Saturday morning and people like, you know, what I like this, my, that's my first uh, time with uh, FSD. Turns out that the car was disabling people, like uh, it would disable your autopilot completely and your cruise control, you had nothing. And I guess people were getting a lot of Ford collision warnings and lots of like extreme braking on the highway. So Tesla stopped uh, releasing 10.3 to people. And they actually, for some people, they even like pushed a software update to them to revert back to a previous software version, which mine didn't, uh, I never got that update. But so they finally, I think Sunday morning or Monday morning, they released, actually on Monday morning, they released 10.3.1, which is what I'm currently operating on. That fixes the disabling autopilot issue and the, the crazy phantom braking on the highway. Overall, this should be a decent test though. Overall, like I said, once again, pretty vanilla. I'm like saying, yeah, like, I don't know what the car is doing. It's, we're it's set to 40 miles an hour, and for some reason it's slowing down to 25. I don't know why. I know, I've noticed that's a common trend with this new software version, is it will do that. Like, it will slow down a lot. Like, for example, if there's, like, weather, it'll slow down below what I have it set to. If, if there's sunlight out, if the sunlight hits a car at a certain angle, nope, it'll slow down too for that. Like, it's weird. I'm really hoping they fix that in 10.4. Uh, yeah, this should be an interesting test though, just because uh, I don't know if they're if might maybe not this early in the morning, but normally there's sometimes a lot of cars parked off to the side of the street here, so that'll be something to keep in mind uh, while I'm doing this test. But overall, though, I've, I've really enjoyed uh, the full self driving beta. I'm really curious though how much uh, data that my car has sent back to Tesla. I, I've known apparently there's some like third-party apps or ways you can actually track how much data it sends, but I do notice when at, I'm at home, like my, my internet is a lot slower now. Like uh, I use a lot of uh, all my t my cable and all that is streaming. I don't use like traditional cable and all that; just streams through my internet. I've noticed that my uh, my internet's a lot slower now, so I feel I don't know Tesla taking all that bandwidth to send. Uh, all the data back to Tesla. Yeah, I've seen some. I've seen. I've seen some pictures on Twitter. As much as like the car within 30 days has sent as much as almost a terabyte back to Tesla headquarters. Which that's that's God, that's crazy. That's a crazy amount of data. Once again, same thing. I've noticed that the full self-driving map doesn't get bigger when I put uh, in a location. It's only it only happened once yesterday when I was testing it. Like it got a lot bigger, but for some reason it's not. I don't know why. I do have I have the full self-driving uh, visualization preview, like and all that enabled. So 
So yeah, so here's the test here. Here's where the hand's gonna be very, very firmly on the wheel. But there's a lot of cars parked on the side of the road here. So we'll see, uh, the car should be able to recognize this and scoot over it. If it gets too close for my comfort, I am going to take over. Okay. Ooh, oh, I like that, that is great. So the car did recognize that there were cars parked on the side of the road there and it actually got into that lane a little bit, which I'm, I'm happy with that. I would do the exact same thing. I am curious what it would do though, if there was another car over there, would it stay in this lane? Would it try? I, that's a, that's a good question. I have no idea what it would do. I'm very curious, but, but with that test, I'm happy with that. It, that did exactly what I would do if I were actually in control. So good job car. Proud of you. For the, I know some of you have been curious, a lot have been asking like, hey, like I have a 98 score, when am I gonna get a uh, full self-driving beta? Like, well, Elon has answered that for us. Uh, I think he put out a tweet on Wednesday that uh, so people with 98s and above will get FSD 10, version 10.4 uh, next Friday. So probably Saturday morning actually, or maybe, I think he said Friday afternoon actually in this one, but. But yeah, so count on next Friday if you have a 98. So if you're still in the safety score beta, uh, just hold on, keep that 98 score as best as you can so you can get FSD next week. And there's talk of like, you know, he's gonna push it to the uh, the company fleet first. And then uh, I think it's, he said like a thousand cars an hour. I'll pull up, I'll, I'll show the tweet here uh, on the video of what exactly he said. But I think he said roughly a thousand cars an hour uh, and, to, and if they find some sort of major issue or, and they're, they're just gonna halt re-releasing it uh, re or releasing it to the public until they get a fix and then they'll continue release. Oops, here's, here's something interesting. What is it going to do? All right, so it's interesting. Whoops, oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, so I was a little too nervous. Uh, I disabled the damn full self-driving. Really curious what it would have done there. It kind of, it stopped at that red light and just kind of creeped up a little bit, but and then it decided like, hey, I'm just gonna go. There was a pedestrian right there, which I was watching very carefully. Let's see, like, so here we are. So this is interesting. So I told it to take me to Chick-fil-A. So as you can see, there it is at our 11 o'clock you doing because normally there's a turn to chick-fil-a right over there is there another turn oh oh very nice apparently there's another turn oh god car that was awful holy smokes every time i do that so yep definitely not the best right turn that was the clunkiest right turn i've ever seen i get oh good lord that was awful Give that a like four out of ten, especially where I'd take over. So yeah, didn't didn't do too well uh, on that turn. We'll park over here. So but yep, that's my that's there's another impression of uh, ten point three point one. Still works, but my opinion hat still has a long ways to go. But I like the direction that they're going now. I do enjoy it. Speaking of, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you really enjoyed the content, please uh, consider subscribing and hit the bell as well. It'll, you'll stay informed for any uh, future content uh, I plan on releasing. That's, uh, lots of FSD footage will be uh, coming down the pipe here in a little bit, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Yeah, but uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. See ya!